you need to make sure that you don't look like a scam when you're cold messaging businesses. And it's no secret that if you want to build a social media marketing agency, you have to get good at setting appointments. Learn how to set appointments and close appointments and you will make money. And to set appointments, you have to send messages to business owners. There's really no way around that. But because you are not the only person trying to get clients, there are tons of people that send cold messages to business owners and they're straight up scammers. They're scammer agency owners, scammer dropshipping gurus, scammer consultants. So the client that you're trying to get has probably been pitched, sold, lied to, and cheated. So I want to give you five things that you can do to make sure that you don't look or sound like a scam, which will in turn increase your chances of signing clients and making cash. Number one, your message. Believe it or not, what you send to a business owner is the number one red flag they're going to encounter. Or this can be a green flag if you word your message correctly. The problem with most people is not that they're trying to scam or that they're lying to people. The problem for most people is that they sound like a scam or they look like a robot. A couple hacks that you can use to make sure that you don't come across as a copy and paste message kind of guy or a bot, add grammar mistakes to your messages, write certain words without capital letters, and add emojis. Right, you combine these three things and it can take a copy and paste message and turn it into something that looks like it was actually written for the person. Want to go a step beyond that? Instead of sending a paragraph, you split your paragraph into three or four separate messages. So instead of it looking like this, it should look like this. Second thing you need to look at is your profile. You can have the best message in the world. Your message may not sound like a scam or it may not sound like a robot, but if your profile is not up to par, you're still going to struggle. All right, first and foremost, make sure you have a profile picture. It's pretty much guaranteed that if you get a message from a page like this with no profile photo, that you're going to ignore it. It just reminds me of the I'm the king of Ethiopia and I want to give you a million dollars kind of email scam that used to go around. So make sure you have a profile photo. People buy from people, so they want to see your face. On top of that, make sure your profile actually looks real. I'll touch more on that during point number four and five. Point three is to get yourself a theme page. These work incredibly well in the SMMA space, and I used theme pages when I started my agency in 2019, and they still work. The premise is simple. If you have decided that you want to work with clients in the fitness niche, you can, you have two options. You can either build, you, you can. build an account from scratch yourself in the fitness niche, or you could go ahead and actually buy a fitness account from somebody that already has the page and wants to sell it. The reason this works so well is so simple. If you're a fitness coach and I message you from my page, which has 10,000 followers, and we post other fitness coaches on our profile, you will probably be interested in what I have to say because you can see I'm in the industry and I clearly know what's working. For my agency, we worked with clients in the fitness niche, typically fitness coaches and supplement companies. We had pages about veganism, healthy diets, recipe pages, workout pages, and they worked really damn well. If you want to go a step beyond this, if you run a content agency, let's say you create short form content or you create graphics for your clients, you can do what I did, which is we would actually post our content that we were making for clients on our pages so that if I message you, you'll actually see all the proof of my content that I've made for clients on my page before we even have a conversation. Here's a simple analogy for you to understand why this works. If you're a fitness coach and you get two messages, one is from a guy who has a theme page all about fitness videos and the videos look really cool and they're clearly the type of videos that you want on your page versus guy number two with the same message but he doesn't even have a profile photo and he's got 33 followers. I know who I'm responding to. Now we do have a plug for these Instagram pages if you're trying to buy one. We don't give it out publicly but it is something we keep for our mentorship students. As I mentioned though, you don't have to buy one. You can go ahead and create your own theme page account and build them up, which will also give you the actual experience of building a page, which you can then use as a case study. So if you start a page and get 10,000 followers in the next two months, even though you may not have had any clients yet, you can actually use that as your case study. All right, point number four, probably heard of this before, but this is a method that so many new SMMA owners are using that is working incredibly fucking well. And it's building a personal brand, right? You're watching this video because I have a personal brand. So imagine if you had a personal brand, all about what you do in your agency. All right, take this guy here on his page. He's clearly showing off his skills and I would bet he gets a ton of clients just from his page. Now imagine if he then started to cold message businesses and they get a message from him where they see the proof on his page and he's constantly showing his personality and his face behind what he does. Another example, take my personal brand. I've been able to build my coaching business purely from the personal brand. We don't do cold DM outreach. 
We just have conversations with people that have seen me online. They've seen me on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. This makes messaging very easy because people are not thinking I'm a scam right away because they're coming to me. Method number five, probably the most common and what I recommend to most beginners is to build an incognito page. So this is not a personal brand, right? A personal brand is when you position yourself as an authority figure in a certain industry, all right? You run a short form agency, you post your own videos of you speaking to the camera and you make them look really good and edited. That's a personal brand. An incognito page is your personal page, but you're making it look like you're not a business owner. For example, my student success manager and former student, Ty, he uses the this in his agency and it works really well for him. He makes over 20k a month and by him having an incognito page it does a couple things. It means that when he messages a real estate agent in America which is his ideal client they don't see the red flags right away. They don't see oh my god this is a business owner and the second I respond to him he's just gonna pitch me. No they see a university student that is interested in their business but it also means that he doesn't have the pressure of needing to build up a personal brand to 10k followers or buying a theme page with 20k followers. Anybody can start an incognito page. It's completely free and super easy to do. If you follow the steps we've laid out in this video, you should have a higher chance of not sounding like a scam when you send your next batch of cold outreach messages. Now, your profile and the message you send is only half the battle. You need to make sure that you actually can provide value and that you know how to sell because you can set appointments, but if you don't know how to close, you'll struggle. As always, if you want some extra help, you'll find my social media links down below. Instagram, you can pop us a message there or you can book a call with us directly via the calendar link below. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon.